Hey, what is up, you guys? I am alive. It is October, and we are alive. Halloween is, and a lot of crazy things happen, right? So anyway, we're back with another video, and we are going to be working with a lot of new products here. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you guys can tell, we do have Shanae here. So thank you very much, Shanae. That's enough. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and grab some of our new uh, drill bits that we had unboxed in our last video. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. You know, it's there. And uh, if you're looking for new drill bits, then check those out for sure because, you know, they do wear out. So make sure you are interchanging them three to six months or, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're pulling out our poly gel. We're using some black poly gel here, different... Um, different companies from aliexpress they will be linked down below as always so this is a really nice one from Miss Z. i think i don't know but uh it's from that one and then ibbcc and dc uh poly gel also which i think is a little bit more gray tone than um like darker so i'm getting these glitters that i want from viola brown's giveaway so shout out to her you guys go check her out also if you guys want to get shouted out make sure you guys are commenting first so that you get a shout out on our next video so with that being said we're just grabbing these glitters we're pouring these on top of the poly gel and just making a poly gel glitter mix so that's just how you do it so if you want to make some custom poly gel glitter colors then there you go you just grab your spatula and mix it up and make sure the glitter is spread out throughout the whole poly gel so it's nice and even and it's not clumped up in only one space of the poly gel so we're just going to go ahead and add these onto the nail they they definitely do one looks more pigmented in my opinion than the other so i think it's mrs he <laughs> that looks more uh more pigmented anyway Let's just go ahead and grab her and plop her on the nail. And we are using alcohol, 70% alcohol for our slip solution. Although you can actually purchase some slip solution on AliExpress, but I think it works the same as alcohol. So you choose your pick when it comes to that. Either way, you can also use a base coat, base coat gel as a slip solution, but you don't want to waste your base coat. But I heard it, it works pretty good. Anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and blend that into the nail and once you do that you'll see that we'll add on some other pink and green poly gels to contrast the middle nail. And we are working on stiletto guys, I forgot to mention that. So this is our first stiletto nail on the channel so shout out to me for making it possible. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, just just keep on watching, you know, we're, we're going to make a Halloween nail design. So yeah, hopefully this inspires you. You will want to cure that for 60 seconds and then go in with your next color. And I am using a nice bright neon pink and green so that it kind of like builds and contrasts off that black. So, you know, we kind of want to add on some girliness to this nail also. And we will be using some nail foils. So we're going to get creative here. So here I am just going in and adding some of my flakes that I also got from my giveaway win.
as you guys can see here I am using three different oranges for my nail design and creating a pumpkin so I hope you guys enjoy the detail in designs I am using a sassy uh, definition liner brush so we will link them if I do find some I think they do have them available on Shein so I'll link those down below into detail so for this good old extra detail we're gonna use some neon green okay. from Roseland yay also use this orange one which is a 916 we will see if they still have it on their site if not then um, look for another one you know these are spider gels so we're gonna work on them right now Okay, so to use spider gel, it's recommended that you use something that is close to a tip of a Q-tip uh, or a toothpick. Okay, go to the dollar store, pick up a pack of these for eyeshadow makeup. You rip them off. Ugh, you should end up with something like this. And this is really good for a spider gel. So I know this video is going to be a little extended. We want to get into some really good detail here, okay? Okay, so file it down like you're filing a stiletto. Uh oh, I'm gonna file it right here. sharper. Get your spider gels and we have them closed in so that they're not spilling everywhere. Okay, and then we're gonna just pop them up real quick. And this is for like less mess. Okay, look at that. It's really vibrant. Alright, so you can use this with a, a brush also. But you want to make sure it has like very tight uh, bristles. You're going to try and get it close to the nail. I'm going to use neon for this one. And back Over. okay then when you're done you want to cross her off All right. just have fun with it all right okay so that's how that one is going to look let's get a quick zoom in in here and cross the 
the pumpkin a little bit, but it's okay. Light. And we're gonna dip, and then we're gonna bring her back, bring in her, and these are gonna create fine lines. We're gonna bring it here. I'm gonna cut it off a little bit. So you can see how we create this cool spider effect. <laughs> Look at that, that looks so cool. Alright, so then we're just gonna go ahead and cure these and we'll be right back. 60 seconds! So... This is what it is. This is how it looks. Um, yeah, let me show you the cool effect on these. First, let's let's put on the nail bedding nude color, and then we'll we'll show you the cool effect. So we're gonna use this builder gel to put on top. It looks crazy. It's really crazy. As you guys can see, move her around a little bit, get her on her brush. It's really pretty too. So we don't want to use too much, but we want enough to be able to blend, be able to blend it into the nail design. So we're just moving it in circle motions, trying not to detach from the nail. And then we're bringing her down. So we're just gonna move circle motions near the nail bedding and bring her down Okay, so this is how the nail turned out, so this is how we're going to keep her, and we made a red bloody nail bed here, as you can see it looks like the nail was cracked. Make an illusion of that with the red poly gel, and this is how they look. Now the cool effect is when it is under the lamp light. And we're going to put her under for 10 seconds, and I'm going to dim these lights so you can hopefully catch a little bit of what I'm talking about here. So, maybe you can see it underneath. Yeah, you guys can see it just a little bit. And it does glow in the dark, so that's pretty cool. And that nail bedding pink we placed for the um, pink nail bed, it glows purple, so that's really cool also. So thank you guys for watching, uh, make sure you guys don't forget to comment down below, um, show some love and support, and thank you all, and I'll catch you all in the next one.